All right. So we have square root of 40, right? And we worked on this a factory method. Now, to work on it, that factory method, we had to get our each of them down to a list of prime factors, right? We had to factor our problem all the way till we had a list of prime factors. Then we took the pairs out because we were doing the square root and we took out the pairs. Now I want to show you a little bit quicker way that we can look at this, but there's a couple things we need to make sure we agree upon. First, we need to, we need to make sure that we agree that two squared equals two times two, right? Yeah. Then we also need to square that the square root of four is the opposite of squaring, so that means the square root of four means what two numbers multiply to give you four, and our answer is two. We need to agree that four can be rewritten as two squared, and therefore if the square root of four is equal to two, well the square root of two squared is also equal to two, right? Then, we also need to know that I can rewrite it as the square root of two times two equals two, okay? And then lastly, we need to understand this. So we need to agree upon all of these traits. I'm going to continue on, but I really don't need you to just keep on adding, okay? I, yeah, you don't need to keep on okay. okay, so, <laughs> so for number five, we need to make sure we agree with this. Do you guys all agree that square root of two times square root of two? Yeah. Let's do a different number. Square root of 36. Okay? You guys agree that square root of 36 is equal to 6, right? No, you should show us it is. Would that agree? Would that work? Okay. Can I rewrite this as a square root of 4 times 9? Can I rewrite it as the multiplication of square root of 4 times square root of 9? Would that still equal 36? Yeah. So that my answer is square root of that would still equal 6? No. Yeah. That looks weird. Really 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 it looks different, but is it still mathematically the same thing? Yeah, yeah it's equivalent. Math, math, math. All right? Now the next thing is, let's go from here to here. Is this still equal to 6? Well, what's the square root of 4? 2. What's the square root of 9? 3. So that means that equals 6 as well. So it's very important for you guys to see and understand this, that we can, if we have two numbers under the radical, we can break them up as multiplication and then solve each one of them independently. We're still getting the same answer. So how can I do the square root of 40 faster? Well, what I want to do, Jessica, is I want to look at, let's use step two. Before, on factoring, we had to use step four. We had to get it all the way down to its factors. If now we use step two, if I can rewrite 40 as a product of a square number, I'm good. And let me show you what I'm talking about. We know that the square root of 4 equals 2. The square root of 16 equals 3. Sorry. The square root of 9 equals 3. The square root of 16 equals 4. The square root of 25 equals 5. The square root of 36 equals 6. Now, I'm not going to go anywhere higher than the square root of 36 because we're only at square root of 40. So what I want to do is, can I rewrite square root of 40 as one of my square numbers times another number? What could you rewrite 40 as a multiple of one of these numbers? Is there any of these numbers? Can you write it as a multiple of 36? 36 times what gives you 40? No, I can't do it. 25. 25 times what gives you 40? Make it work. 16 times something? No. No. Nine? No. No. Four. We can rewrite it as square root of four times ten. Right? Yeah. Then, if I, if you guys, you guys believe me on this, right? So this, you guys can see this is all mathematically true. So therefore, I can rewrite it as square root of four times square root of ten. Now, what is the square root of four? Do you guys remember your answer that you last did with the factoring? You guys remember what that answer was? What was that answer? Uh, that's, no, five. Square root of two times square root of ten. Well, it was five times two, which ended up giving me ten. Okay? So there you go. That's it. Yes. No! Sorry.